Hello everyone, uh, today I'll be starting a new tutorial series and it's gonna be a Unity tutorial series. In this Unity tutorial series, we will be building a in-game calendar or a year system, like a date, time and a year system where the date changes in-game. This is gonna be a multi-part series. I mean, in this video, we're gonna start building a basic world calendar. In the following videos, we will build upon this to have a full-fledged world calendar with calendar events and other stuff like uh, throwing an in-game event on a particular date or a particular month, uh, things like that. Here, I just created a blank Unity project and then uh, created a new folder called scripts. Okay, uh, first, we're gonna create a new script a C sharp script and we'll call it world calendar okay and then uh, we're gonna open this script uh, in your own IDE and here I'm gonna open my script I'm using Visual Studio code uh, I prefer using this over uh, Visual Studio as this is lightweight and uh, works really good okay so in our world calendar.cs file the first thing what we are going to do is we're going to create two date time variables called start date time and current date time the start date time holds uh, the time uh, whenever your world calendar.cs class object is created and the current date time is actually used uh, to find how much time has been from the start date time Okay, we need to use systems namespace to find date time data type or else your unity is gonna throw an error. So, okay. After declaring these two variables, we're gonna declare a new variable called start time. In the start function of your world calendar, the first thing what we do is, we're gonna instantiate our start date time variable with a new date time. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna give as a year one, month one, day one and hours minutes seconds as zero so what it actually creates is it creates one 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 as a starting point for our calendar the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna instantiate the start time variable with time dot time this is gonna return us the current system time of unity okay next uh, we're gonna use fixed update instead of a regular update because we want to run the following code or every couple of milliseconds so in the fixed update what we're actually doing is we are taking the start date time which we got from the start function and uh, we are adding couple of seconds to the start date time but the thing is what I'm actually doing is from the time this program started till the current time um, we, what we are doing is we are getting the difference and that difference I'm actually multiplying with 60 because what I want to do is every second in real world is gonna be one minute inside the game but if you want to have a one to like a real world timing just remove the 60 seconds or else if you want to go it like 10 times faster than the real world then you can just uh, multiply with 10 but what I need was every second in real world is a minute in a game so that's what I'm aiming for so what actually happens in fixed update is from the start of the time we're gonna subtract the current program running time and multiplying it with 60 so that we get a minute to second uh, conversion and we are adding that to the start date time variable and this is actually been initialized to the current date time and then i have this debug function which is actually used uh, to test in the console and then we have this debug.log which logs the year month day hour and minutes okay next we come back to our uh, unity project the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to create an empty game object and uh, you can rename it as world calendar next we're going to drag our world calendar script in the world calendar object once we are done this simply just run the program and you can see that for every second in the real world a minute has passed in the game right so as you can see once this reaches 60 minutes a hour is going to pass okay so i've 
I fast forward the video uh, to 52 seconds. So here you can see now the minutes was in 56, right? So once it hits 60, you can see that the hours became one hour. So once the hours reach 24, the days are gonna get increased. Once the days reach uh, 31, the month is gonna get increased. Once 12 months, the year is gonna get increased. So this is a simple way of creating our own in-game calendar. So this is the first part of the series. Uh, we just created the basic uh, calendar where every second in real world is actually a minute in the game. So in the next video, what we are gonna do is, uh, we're gonna implement day and night cycle and if possible, different seasons. And in the following videos, we're, go we're gonna also implement uh, different events and other stuff. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe, like and share.